All right, folks, this is really about to happen. We're about to dive into some MLB Road to the Show on the channel, and this is a game that I've really been wanting to play for a while. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for it, and with baseball season just getting underway, I figured now would be a good time to jump in and diversify the content on the channel just a little bit. So that's what we're going to do here today. Now, as for the character that I'm going to be creating in this video, his name's going to be Marcus Sanders. He's a left fielder from California. He's going to be batting and throwing right-handed, and you guys already know that he's going to be rocking a number 23 because that's just how we do. Now, I'm not going to mess around and waste too much of your time because I know these creation videos have a tendency to drag along, so we're going to dive right into it. Now, meeting with the Scout Day instructor, his message is pretty simple, and that's to leave everything on the field today because a lot of us won't be moving on to the next stage in this process. So I hear what you're saying, coach, but I know a lot of that doesn't really apply to me. I'm here for one reason, and that's to dominate in the show. And with that said, allow me a moment to drop my little disclaimer or caveat or whatever it is you want to call it. As you're watching these practice swings and BP, I I need you to understand that this is my very first time playing MLB Road to the show. Now, I will clarify that just a little bit because I did play a couple of games back on PS3, but that was years ago, and I never really played it enough to get any good at the game, so hopefully this time around things will be a little different. Now, as you can see here, my timing on my swings isn't that terrible. I caught that one a little bit early, so it went foul, but the next one right here made pretty solid contact, and that probably would have been a base hit. But my timing on swings, I don't think will really be the problem, as I got a hold of another one right there. That definitely would have been a base hit but anyways after taking a couple of practice swings i'm now ready for the evaluation and that first pitch gets absolutely crushed that thing is out of here so not a bad start to the day by putting on a little bit of a show for the scouts the next pitch is up and it's going to be driven to deep left that one can be gone as well but it's going to bounce off of the wall just at the warning track there so after a couple of early pitches our draft stock should definitely be trending in the right direction now i don't know about that foul right there i kind of hit that one a little bit too early actually a lot too early but the following pitch that's more like it right there and that one could go the distance no once again bounces off the wall but in any case if this were a real live game i'd at least get a double off of that hit so i'll take that now i think we've got a couple more at bats left in this one so we've got to make them count the first pitch that definitely would have been grounded out there but let's see if we can make the last one count the pitch is away it's a little low and inside but i decided to swing anyways and i'm definitely disappointed with those last few swings you can kind of tell it on my face right here as i'm walking off the field but we got to shake that off because we got some field drills to do and I'm not really sure why they've already seen my college tape they know the footwork is superb so I should be able to do my thing out here but hold on did you guys see that I was standing on the marker perfectly and it did not give me the catch that's some craziness right there but I was however able to snag the second one the third one though I mean what am I supposed to do there my guy is just too slow there's no chance I can get that one but anyways, now that the evaluation is live, let's see if we can get out here and make some plays. And the very first hit is going to be way over my head. There's no way I could have gotten to that one. My guy is just way too slow right now. Most likely what I'm going to need to do is pick up some stubs and see if I can upgrade my gear to get some more quickness out in the field. But hold up, this next hit though, it hangs up there just long enough for me to run under and make a play. So if we can keep getting hits like those, I think we just might be okay. So now they want me to field a fly ball to the right. But what's up with my guy staggering when he runs? Did you guys just see that? I don't know you guys. I don't think they want me to be great out here. My guess is they're really trying to hold me back to make sure that I do have to go through double A and then go through triple A before I get called up to the show. And if that's the case, then so be it. But I prefer to spend as little time as possible in the minors. So now that the scouts have seen a little bit of what I'm capable of, it's now time to select the archetype that I'm going to build my player on. And without a doubt, I'm going to build him as the powerhouse archetype. I'm not going to mess around here. I simply want to get out and hit home runs and I also want to make pitchers reconsider trying to challenge me at the plate but at the end of the day it's all about power and contact and really putting numbers up on the board and that's what I want to do now you guys I did make a couple more adjustments to my players appearance after the fact first and foremost I did drop his weight down at 205 I believe during the evaluations he was around 223 or something like that I'm not really sure but anyways he looked a little too chunky for me out there so I decided to drop his weight down and also clean him up a little bit as you guys just saw I did chop off the and give him a nice cut as well as for his facial hair I decided to trim that up a little bit too because if I'm gonna play the part I've got to look the part as well I got to get this man ready for the GQ man of the year close-up for the magazine cover and all that so I think I was able to pull that 
off. <laughs> but in all seriousness, you guys, I think I'm pretty satisfied with the look overall. I did manage to tweak the swing animations just a little bit. I think I got like a little Ken Griffey Jr. thing going on. And then for the practice swing, I went with style one because I like the way he kind of loosely has it in his wrist as he's swinging the bat through. And then the stride animations, for some reason, they look a little bit weird to me, but I did go with stride number two. And lastly, I did give Sanders a little bit of bling with the thick gold chain underneath his jersey. In addition to the baggy pants look that I'm probably going to end up changing at some point but for now that's just what we're going to roll with but anyways you guys that's going to be it for the creation video if you want to see more MLB the show on the channel you guys already know what to do make sure you destroy that like button so I can crank these videos out for you guys ASAP anyways folks that's my time I'm signing off and I'll see you in the next one